The Open Heavens devotional for today is titled, The Shout of Praise Part 2. The memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 67 verse 5 and 6. Let the people praise Thee, O God, let all the people praise Thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Bible reading is found in the book of Psalm 67 verse 3 to 7. Let the people praise Thee, O God, let all the people praise Thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for Thou shalt judge the people righteously, and govern the nations upon earth. Selah. Let the people praise Thee, O God, let all the people praise Thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear Him. Message. The Bible says that God is seeking those who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. John 4 verse 24. In other words, God is constantly seeking people who praise Him. When He finds them, He dwells with them as we learnt yesterday, inhabiting their praises, Psalm 22 verse 3. Psalm 16 verse 11 says. Thou wilt show me the path of life, in Thy presence is fullness of joy, at Thy right hand there are pleasures for evermore. This means that after your praise has drawn God to you, you will also receive joy and many other pleasures that come with His presence. There was a woman who had been married for many years without the fruit of the womb. She said she would normally shout seven hallelujahs, so people began to call her sister hallelujah. One day, she decided against praying for a child. She said to herself, I don't need one child, I need three, so she began to shout twenty-one hallelujahs. Suddenly, the barrenness of thirty years was over and she gave birth to three children. When you send a shout of praise to heaven, miracles come pouring down on you. Psalm 67 verse 5 and 6. Let the people praise Thee, O God, let all people praise Thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Believe me honestly, when you come to God in prayer and just keep bombarding Him with requests, you are acting foolishly. Wise people know that when you come with praises, He will be the one asking you, what do you want? If you don't believe me, ask Solomon, 2 Chronicles 1 verse 6 and 7. When you prioritize praising God above making requests, He will answer your prayers far beyond your expectations. Action Point Shout Hallelujah! If you would like to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, please pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe in my heart you died and rose from the dead to save me. Thank you Lord for saving me, in Jesus' name.